guys so this video is going to be very random um this is a get ready with me i'm just gonna do my makeup for today it is saturday january 29th and i just want to chat with you guys so i got new makeup and all that so if you would like to hear me talk about random stuff then just keep on watching i'm wearing my gymshark hoodie that i linked in my last video of my january favorite and i love this so much loving this brand i cannot believe it took me so long to get on it but yeah so i had work this morning i just got off it's almost noon and i want to do some makeup and it's just gonna be a chill day i have to do laundry i have to clean up a little bit and also i'm gonna go to the gym tonight so that's the plan i also got a starbucks cold brew it's been like three weeks since i've had starbucks so i decided to treat myself i have saved myself thirty dollars from <laughs> not getting coffee which is insane so that's really cool i know i talked about lowering my caffeine intake but today i just had to get some just to treat myself because i'm home alone and i want to chill and all that so my kitty is playing with the tripod so that's why <laughs> it's shaking he's literally rubbing up against it so this is a venti salted caramel cream cold brew I love it so much i want to do a basic makeup but i'm also going to wear concealer and my mirror is right here so i can look at it where should i begin oh yeah so i have the new super goop unseen sunscreen this is what it looks like this is the mini it is so small i do have the glowy one but i've been wanting to try this one they came out with minis so i decided to pick this up because i'm not gonna pay 40 dollars yet so i'm gonna try this and because i'm going to be wearing a foundation today which is unheard of i'm gonna wear this one this is like basically a it's sps 40 it's a weightless colorless scentless and oil-free formula for face that smooths the appearance of pores grips makeup in place and leaves a velvety soft finish perfect for all skin tones okay this is not scentless this smells like sunscreen so you know that scent you know that sunscreen scent so ugh. other than that it's fine okay so it's a clear gel i did not know that maybe this will be good for my pores i don't really wear primers so maybe this will actually be a new like primer for me oh this feels really good ugh. but i think i put too much on ew it smells bad so like it's past the sunscreen scent this is a different scent i don't know it's almost like it's i don't know i'm trying not to breathe this smells so bad but it feels so smooth oh my gosh i'm definitely taking this to florida for my sunscreen i need this in the theme parks definitely okay i think it's all in there wow my hands feel so smooth my face looks so smooth my pores um they're not too bad because i've been going to the gym and like clearing out my skin S sweating it all out does not look too bad mm. my freckles are coming through i don't know Whew. honestly i don't know what else i want to do now i'm going to do my eyebrows off camera real quick eyebrows are done cheeks are still red because that's on sensitive skin. Come here. Yeah, he's a big boy. Oh, he has his winter coat and he's so huge. You give me a kiss? Can you give me a kiss? I promise I'm not hurting him. Look. Look how big he is, my big kitty. Oh. All right, where were we? Oh, yeah. You know what? Mmm. I don't know what my cheeks are doing. Honestly. Mm. It looks like a little rash. Not happy about that, but you can see my freckles, which is really nice. So my cheeks, oh, what is that? Is that a pimple? Oh my God. Okay, so my cheeks get, this is like, I think it's like rosacea, but I'm not really sure. My cheeks have always been like this my whole life. They're always rosy, especially when I'm in like crowds talking to people whatever it looks like a little rash like an irritation going on but we're just gonna keep going 
we're gonna keep going okay okay um can you tell my coffee has kicked in because i can literally 10 minutes into this and i still haven't done anything okay two concealers i have the oma beauty woke concealer which i am loving right now it's so fluffy it's so cakey cakey in a good way like it's so fluffy and creamy and it does not but it's really good it lasts all day and i like it this one matches me the most i th think and then I just have my new one, which is the Kosas Creamy Concealer, which everyone is loving. Everyone is raving about this ever since last year, and I've been waiting to pick it up. Um, but this is a little gray toned, I guess. Almost like a little orange on me, but I don't know which one I want to use. Maybe I'm going to use this one because I literally just got this in the mail yesterday. So we're just going to put some on. I don't want to do... I do not want to do um foundation i don't think i was going to but not really so look at this elf sponge this thing is so huge so we're just going to blend that in yeah this is a little yellow on me but you know what as long as it covers up my dark circles we should be fine you know Okay, so that means my skin is more pink. I just struggle finding any foundation and concealer that matches my skin tone. That's just what I'm horrible at and I just, I don't know why. I just don't understand the whole undertones <laughs> and what I should be getting because in like three months, I'm going to get really tan. So it's actually nonsense for me to even, I literally would need like two different concealers. I think I might just go back to the e.l.f. one because now all of this is looking cakey and I don't want to spend another $30 on a concealer when I can just go to Walmart and get one for $6. So I think I'm going to do that. Okay, we're looking real cakey right now. So I'm going to do some blending and get back with you guys. Okay. I know I keep switching up spots on you guys, but like I can't find a good spot to film and I need my desk to do makeup. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Anyway, okay. So, I have two concealers on. I just put my ring light on too because I just needed it. And, mm, I'm not liking it at all. I'm like, I'm not liking it. I need to go a little paler and pinkier. So, I'm just going to go to Walmart like tomorrow or something and get a lighter one that will match my pink skin tone but i really like this concealer even though it is way too yellow for me as you can see it's yellow um so this is going to be great as the summer starts and then i added the woke concealer over it and it's covering up my under eyes you can still see a little bit but i am not putting any more on because i just put on two different layers of concealer and i'm not going anywhere today besides the gym which this will be taken off anyway, but my pores are looking fine. My pores are looking real good. They look real good, but this concealer is just too yellow and I'm really sad. Also, I had another concealer that Sephora forgot to send me, which is um, the Tarte Something of the Sea concealer that I ordered. So that will be on the way. So hopefully that matches, Ugh, you guys. <clears throat> I think this year is going to be year of concealers and bronzers for me. Also, did you see that M Cosmetics came out with a new eye pa eyeshadow palette? And it is in my colors. Like, it's the neutral brown shades that I use every single day. So I might pick that up, I think. I don't know. But yeah, I think I want to put something over my redness because my skin just looks weird having concealer on and nothing over my red cheeks. So I'm going to use the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is Your Skin But Better, the illumination one, which means it's supposed to be dewy. So I tried this years ago and I really liked it back when I didn't know how to use foundation. But the only problem is that this has sparkles in it. It has shimmer and I don't like it. And I hate when I buy dewy products that have shimmer in it. This will cover my redness, so we're gonna make do, you know? Okay, so I got the shade Light. This works for me. It works really well. I was taking photos with it yesterday. 
it looks really well and I find that if I do a light layer and yes I put my concealer on under my foundations because usually I don't wear foundations but I'm using this as a skin tint basically because I do very light layers but like this is probably the only spot that I want to cover up is my cheeks even though I'm going to put a bunch of blush on it I really like it cosmetics their CC cream so I'm gonna keep giving this a go um and maybe I just have to get the newer the matte like the natural finish one not the illumination one i remember getting the normal one and it was fine and i also like that this has spf 50 so my spf 40 plus 50 pretty nice coverage my skin is feeling really nice oh she looks good now i just need to blend this side if that's all it is it's just blending like literally i could go about my day with having makeup on the first top half of my face. <laughs> the things we do to cover up our blemishes. Let me just try to, you know, I don't even care about that pimple. I'm not going anywhere. There's that. Looks great. It's very dewy, as you can see right here. So I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes. Think about if I wanna put powder on. I really should because I have like three powders I need to get you get through but while I'm letting that sit I'm just going to do my mascara and I'm going with my number one mascara right now which is the Colossal Mascara by Maybelline let's see what's going on with me lately not much just working working a lot trying to catch up on some bills and yeah I'm just trying to relax and trying to get my life together basically this is literally almost out I think I gotta throw it away today <clears throat> but we can do one more oh yeah this is done it is all ah! you did not you did not I did not oh my gosh I'm just gonna do a light layer then that's how this is gonna be this is my good eye so I don't know what happened this is done anyway okay that's done I do have the new Dior powder no powder this is in number two neutral I tried it on yesterday and I love it it matches my skin tone which is great I thought I wanted number three but obviously two is good enough so I really like this already so um I don't think I have any q-tips up here how about this my mascara is done and I just threw the mascara out because it was done and it I cannot believe that happened to my good eye that never happened my right eye is my good eye so like I don't know why my mascara I don't know why my mascara did that. I'm gonna just not do any powder because my skin is looking a little dry right here. And the foundation and concealer covered my redness a little bit, which is fine. I don't care for it to be like fully covered. It's fine if it's a little bit. But like my under eyes are just not doing it. And I don't wanna do another third layer. So we're just gonna keep it how it is. I'm fine with it. I really don't want to do any blush right now because my cheeks are, are already getting red. All right, guys, I'm just going to end the video. Here is a hot mess. I just wanted to try new makeup and just chat a little bit, even though I got nothing done and we had a little mess up. But you know what? That's okay because makeup is all fun and it's all about messing around and having fun and not caring how like beautiful it looks. It makes you happy, you know, and this is something that I needed to do to make myself happy for a little bit so because i am just a depressed acorn anyways i'm gonna go downstairs now and play the sims i've been wanting to play all week and i haven't had the chance to so now i'm going to thank you for coming to this hot mess video you guys know me just having a blast being a hot mess that's my aesthetic that's just who i am and i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like 
and comment down below if you guys if i made you laugh today just comment down below if i made you laugh or giggle it'll make me feel better knowing that you guys laughed at my failures <laughs> you know but don't forget to subscribe i will see you guys in my next video bye